In this video, we will demonstrate how to install a Schlage CO Series cylindrical lock. These are the tools you'll need for this installation. First, prepare the door for your installation. A self-adhesive template is included in the box. This step is only for the CO200 and CO250. On the outside assembly, carefully remove the mylar strip. This step is only for locks with a privacy function. Install the door position switch. Feed the door position switch wires through the hole in the door edge. Run the wires through the upper hole on the inside of the door. Then push the door position switch sensor into the opening. Then install the companion door position switch magnet into the hole in the frame. Close the door to check for alignment. Next, install the latch by placing it into the door and securing it with two screws. Ensure the bevel of the latch is appropriate for the swing of the door. Separate the latch guard from the retractor. Install the retractor assembly from the outside of the door. Be sure that the tabs on the latch are correctly inserted into the retractor assembly. From the inside of the door, secure the latch guard onto the retractor assembly with the screw. Next, check the handing of the outside assembly. The knob stop pin should be pointing toward the latch edge of the door. If the handing is not correct, rehand it now. To rehand the lock, refer to the installation instructions. Install the lever and cylinder onto the outside assembly. Insert a Phillips screwdriver into the cam of the outside assembly and rotate it clockwise until it stops. Place the cylinder into the lever, and while holding the cylinder in place, insert the key. Turn the key 90 degrees clockwise and push the lever over the spindle. Depress the knob stop pin using the lever removal tool and continue pushing the lever on until you hear a click. Check that the lever and cylinder have seated correctly by turning the key and removing it from the cylinder. On the back of the outside assembly, make sure the two orientation triangles are lined up. Use one of the spindles to align them. Install the two standoff posts into the outside assembly. Place the spindle into the center of the retractor with the post end pointing outward. Now install the outside assembly onto the door. Feed the ribbon cable through the door and while guiding the prongs into the latch retractor, ensure the spindle goes into the outside assembly. When the unit is flush with the door, Center the anti-rotation plate vertically over the latch retractor. Insert and tighten the flathead screws into the two holes that align with the prongs from the outside assembly. Then install the two self-tapping screws on either side of the plate. Next, locate the spring cage assembly and separate the rows from the spring cage body. Now insert the cam, the spring, and the spindle with the beveled end pointing outward into the spring cage assembly. Fit the spring cage over the anti-rotation plate. Make sure the knob stop pin points toward the latch. Secure the spring cage in place by inserting and tightening the two screws on the top and bottom. Replace the rows and rotate it clockwise until it clicks into place. Slide the inside lever over the spindle using the lever removal tool to depress the knob stop pin. You should hear a click when it is properly seated. Holding the inside assembly, route the wires through the corresponding holes. Push the assembly flush to the door, making sure that no wires or cables are pinched. Secure the inside assembly to the door by installing the two screws into the top of the assembly. Make sure